So hi, hello, and welcome to uh, the posting tools uh, Today I'm going to show you how the Cracklist flagger works. So we have a new version. In this case, uh, whenever you purchase the software, you get the 131 modules that we have. And here you will find the Cracklist ones, and you will find the Cracklist ad flagger. So this is what you get. So the first thing that you need to add here, it's a list of the ads that you want to flag. You can use click import from list and you paste all the links that contains the ads that you want to flag. Or depending on, on, your, on your area, for example, here is Los Angeles. I can copy that, come back to the software, paste that, and then get the ads. This is going to go and get the ads for me from Los Angeles. Then I can just remove the ones that are, uh, that are mine that I don't want to remove. Obviously, like this, any one of them is not mine, so I don't, I don't mind. But basically, I just remove whichever I want, and then I just leave like uh, the ones that I want to flag. I don't want to flag all these because this is just a demo. But this is how it will work. So let's say I have these six ads that I want to flag, or I could just import another one and put it there. I will have a bunch of ads that I want to remove. So, for example, this one. Um, let's say I want to remove this iPhone 6 um, iPhone 6 ad. So, whenever I select one of these ones, this changes here. This changes here. You see? So, this is the, the, the first step. Then, there are two ways to do it. One way is with uh, normal proxies, which would be import proxies. Then you will go to find your proxies. Uh, I have here a list of proxies. These are proxies that are free, so they don't work for Craigslist, but this is just a demo, so it doesn't matter. So I select that. Uh, obviously, you should use proxies. Uh, in this case, I'm flagging in Los Angeles, so I should use proxies from Los Angeles. Otherwise, they won't uh, get flagged because it's not. Um, it, it needs to be local to the area that I'm flagging. So the next step would be that I want to use proxies, that I want to check my proxies, and well, in this case, I just want to delete this one, but if I wanted to delete the other ones, I would just click this, and then whenever it uh, finished with this, it will go to the first one, to the second one, to the third one, and it will keep flagging all of them. So I just want to remove one for now. So this is what I have now. I just select this one and I click you selected uh, proxy, which will be the first one that appears here. So this is just using proxies normally. So I just click start posting. I just click start and this is going to go to the first ad and then it's going to open Firefox and then it's going to go to Hoover to check what is the IP that I'm using. Uh, you will see that it's going to change in a few moments. You can minimize this a little bit to see what's going on. So now it's going it's going to the site by itself to check what's my, my IP. So here it's going to check what's my IP. In this case, my IP should be my proxy 206 uh, 23 or whatever. So the IP change it. Now it's going to go to Cracklist. And it's going to flag the ad that I have there. So I went to click Cracklist. And it will click Prohibited to flag it. Then it's going to close. It's going to close the, um, the web browser. And then it's going to go and open a new window with a new proxy. So it's going to rotate the proxy. It's going to open Firefox and then it's going to go flag the ad and then it's going, to, it's going to keep doing that until you get a message that says that the ad was flagged for removal. And when you get that, then basically the ad was removed and then it's going to move to the next one and to the next one and to the next one in the list. So here, the only, the only thing that will affect how effective is your flagging it's how many proxies you use and the quality of your proxies. So for the 
uh, in this case for the cell by owner it's faster to flag than for the um, for the ones where people pay because where when people pay usually uh, they go to manual review and then if they if correctly deems that it's uh, bad then they remove it if if not then they will not remove it because it's manual review so just make sure that you're flagging something that you want to actually remove that it's breaking the the rules otherwise the checklist won't remove it at all so here is going again to the ad itself uh, these proxies that i'm using are free so they are not that good that's why it's taking so long to to load but if you use good proxies you will be able to remove uh, as many ads as you want so now it went there it's going to click prohibited and it's going to close Now, um, I'm going to stop this one because this is just with the first method, which would be using proxies. And but like it just did, uh, did remove it. Uh, now, I just will stop this, stop this. And I'm going to show you the second step here. Uh, you can see a small log of what's happening. So it's going to open the web browser, it's going to rotate the proxy, it's going to clean the cookies, it's going to check what IP you're using, it's going to navigate to the ad, it's going to click uh, flag ad, it's going to close the web browser, and then it's going to restart. And it's just going to keep uh, doing that on a loop until the ad gets removed. So that's basically how it works, guys. So I'm going to show you the second method, which will be using BIP72 uh, SOC proxies. So we have our software here called uh, Sox Client, which comes from BIP72. In this case, uh, you will select the country where you want to remove the ads from. Oops, sorry. You will click Login first, Apply Token. Then you select the country that you want. In this case, we're going to go to United States. Then we go to select um, region, we're going to go California, then select city, and we're going to select Los Angeles. Uh, here, there should be somewhere here, Los Angeles. So we click on get proxies by geo, and we got all these different proxies. So now what I do is I just select the, from the list, I select them. And then they will go to my list of proxies. I come back here. I select around, but like in my in my previous testing, I was using 14, but you don't need that many. So I'm just going to keep adding a few of them. This is uh this is just um a demo to show you how this works. And um, once um. So let's start with those ones. Basically, what I do is I select the first one, right click, set the dedicated port, and then I call it 1001. Okay? So then I go, right click, set the dedicated port 1002. And then since this one, we're going to put um, the port number uh, 1003. Then next one, 1004. Okay, so the reason we do this is because it's just much easier to put um, to put the right proxies there. So here I put four. So I have my list of SOX proxies, which would be 1000, well, like this is the IP, the local IP, and this is the port number. In this case, I put um, four IPs. So my list should have four proxies. Obviously, the more the more IPs you use, the easier it's going to go to flag it. I'm just going to keep these uh, other IPs right now because I don't want to redo my file. I could make a copy of the file and then uh, keep only these ones. But eventually, I'm going to be using this file a lot, so I will just um, I just will, will keep as uh, like basically the idea is that if I have here. 15 i should have here 15 and if i have four i keep four right now because we're going to stop it it doesn't matter but you should have as many ips as you as you want there so now that we have the ips 
what we're going to do is we're going to clear the proxies that we have here. We're going to click import proxies. We're going to select the SOC proxies, which is the ones that we were using. Select the first one. Click on selected proxy. This is so it start with this one. And now we put SOC proxies. And this one basically means that we are going to be using this type of proxies with this um, type of software that basically uh, whenever my IP or my proxy is set, it's going to be, uh, if it's 1001, it's going to use this IP. If it's 1002, it's going to use this IP. So this is basically how it works. And we're going to move this here and we're going to track and we're going to try to flag the ad that we wanted, the Santa Monica iPhone. So now let's just go ahead and do it. Click start. This is going to go to the first one and then it's going to open the proxy. These are real proxies, so the ad might get flagged, uh, but sometimes you need to add like maybe a few more proxies to get this process done. But I'm just going to stop it at four. But um, basically, just we'll keep doing the same thing as it did before until the ad gets removed, and then it's going to move to the next one. So now it's getting me the real IP that I told you about, which would be the 1004. You can see that it's 1004221. Now it's going to go to the next one to 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 the ad itself. And then it's going to go and flag it. I'm going to click prohibited. And then it's going to close the window. And then it's going to repeat the same process again. So now it's going to open the, the, the proxy with the second IP. And then it's going to go and flag that. We're going to do, do this until the next one. Let's see if it got removed. If not, then basically um, we will have to add more more IPs in order to remove it. But that will get removed and you will get like a message saying that that was flagged for removal. So now this is the second IP, which you can see here, 44 in the end. And then it's going to go to Cracklist and then it's going to click uh, remove ad. It's going to flag it for us. And then if you have many IPs, basically you will flag it a few times and then it's, the ad will get removed. And that's it. You, you remove the ad and then you move to the next ad and so on until you remove all the ads that you don't want. So it flag it a second time. Now it closes, and but I just will stop it at this point because basically it's just going to be doing the same thing over and over again until that gets removed, and it's going to keep switching IPs for me. So um, sometimes it takes a little bit of time to add all the IPs that you want, but at this point you already know how the software works. So that was the, the idea of this video, explaining you how how it works. And well, let's just flag this one one last time and then we just uh, close the video. So now it's going to go check what's my IP. It's going to connect. And then it's going to go and flag the ad for us. So it just connected. That's the IP that uh, it had, which would be the 188. And because these ones are proxies exactly from California, that will get removed if I add enough uh, IPs. If I don't have enough IPs, then like probably that won't get removed. But as long as I have enough IPs and I do this process properly, uh, that will get removed. I, it's just that it takes uh, some time to remove it, so I just don't want you to go through all that. But basically, it's going to keep flagging it, flagging it, flagging it until it gets removed. So that's basically how it works, guys. So I just will stop the video at this point, but just so you know, the problem is going to continue. 
and it's going to flag it until it's going to continue until it flag it so that's what it is thank you for watching have a great day so guys this is me again so just so you know like just right after i start like saving all the information for the ad um to, to to record the video i just realized that the ad was posted for uh, removal for removal so here you have the hour you will see that it's just basically just a few minutes ago so we we did remove one ad so in this case we just will have to keep doing the same thing to remove more ads and then that will be all so if you're gonna get the software you could get it on autopostingtools.com thank you for watching have a great day